Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. And in today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of drones. So in today's video, I'll be explaining how drones basically fly in the air and where they usually are used in today's world. So a drone like this one, what is known as a quadcopter, has four different propellers. When I open this up, every propeller, which is located on each side, this one is engine number two, and this is number four, and this is one, and this is three. Drones, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, are basically aircrafts which are uh, controlled using radio control, where the pilot is not situated or not seated inside the drone itself. And it's usually controlled using a controller like this one. So this controller and this drone are paired together and every input I give on this controller is transmitted through radio signals to the drone and the drone performs that particular function. But behind the flight of each drone goes a basic principle of physics, what is known as the Bernoulli's principle. According to this principle, when a drone flies, a certain amount of air flows above and below the surface of the propeller. When air flows at a higher velocity, a low pressure is created and when air flows at a lower velocity, a high pressure is created. Now, a difference in the pressure above and below the surface of the wing basically creates the force of lift. On the controller, as the pilot, if I give an input to move the drone higher in altitude, the velocity of the motors increases. Thereby, the amount of air flowing above and below the propellers increases and therefore the force of lift also increases. So the drone increases its altitude. To decrease its altitude, the velocity of the motors this time reduces. So again, the pressure difference uh, above and below the surface of the propellers decreases. Therefore, the drone moves downwards. Now you must be wondering that that's just to move up and down. How does it actually move front and back? So for a drone to move front and back, the velocity of the motors at the back increases. Therefore, the drone tilts forward and it moves frontward. To move backward, the opposite happens. The velocity of the motors frontwards increases. And so the drone tilts back and it moves backwards. In order to yaw right and left, we must first understand in which direction all these propellers rotate. In the case of a quadcopter like this one, engine number one and three rotate clockwise at a particular velocity and engine number two and four rotate opposite direction which is anti-clockwise at the same velocity. Now they rotate in the opposite direction in order to balance what is known as angular momentum which if they were rotating in the same direction would cause the drone to spin around which is something that you don't want to happen. It must stay stable in the air. So in order to yaw right, the velocity of motor number one and motor number three increases, which means the clockwise direction moving motors increase their velocity. Therefore, the angular momentum also increases. In order to move left or yaw left, the motors which rotate anti-clockwise, that is in this case engine number two and number four, they increase their velocity and therefore the angular momentum towards the left direction increases and the drone yaws towards the left. Now these are basically the basic principles on how drones fly, how they move front and how they move back. And there you have it, the fascinating world of drones unpacked. If you like such videos, smash that like button and I'll come up with similar type of videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.